know, and he's a quality spinner. He's shown that he's got um, somewhere near 50 wickets in 12 test matches, you know, so he's a quality bowler. Um, he spins it big, uh, you know, he can make it go both ways as well. Um, and he's a handful for anybody on any surface, you know, so if the pitches have anything in it for, for Ashwin and for Oja, then Shane will also benefit, so that's a plus for us. I don't know, probably, but I think I think in the next few years you will see you will see you know we don't have the six foot seven giants of, of Garner and, and people like that, but you will see the emergence of some more fast bowlers, the social and cultural. Um, I thought he had a good debut. Obviously not in the not in the same way that Shami did. I thought he had a good debut. Um, and and you know there's Shannon Gabriel has been called up to replace Kimar. Like you said, we're missing Kimar. We're missing Ravi Ram Paul from from this group. Um, Jason Holder has made his debut in one day uh, international T20 cricket uh, and done very well, you know. So there, there are a few more fast bowlers coming around, um, and I, I expect that in the next few years, you know, all things things being equal, we'll be able to we'll be able to to, to get back somewhere towards um, the, the, the four prong pace attack of all. But at the same time, you know, when you come into India uh, and you're playing at Calcutta uh, and the ball is bouncing twice to the keeper on the first day. Then you have to you have to ask yourself: Do you need to be playing four fast bowlers or play two quality spinners? If you have those two quality spinners, I mean, there's only so much talking that any coach can do, you know. Uh, so when you play five batsmen and you sit down, when you, you you stress the importance of those five batsmen batting, and you set yourself the, the, the challenge of batting um, a day and a half in the first innings. Um, it is then up to those five batsmen to go out and negotiate whatever um, the opposition bowlers throw at them and hang around for five days. You know, when we have a run out um, and a couple of soft dismissals within that top five batsmen, then it puts pressure on everybody else. You know, and um, that's exactly what happened. Uh, and, and we have to get we have to get better. We have to learn from those mistakes um, and, and you know try not to try not to repeat. You know, um, but. Like I said, we were a little bit rusty coming in and I expect that you will see a much better showing from this West Indies team in the, in the next test match.